morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day. It's the day that the Lord has made, and we have to rejoice in this day. And He is ordaining this day. Whatever is going to happen today is going to, it's going to be ordained by Him. When we abide in Him, when we follow Him, when we are in alignment with Him, when we are in obedience with Him, when we are in obedience with Him, He will do whatever it takes for us to have a day full of His blessings. So I encourage you this morning that you follow Him, that you be in alignment with Him, and that you be totally covered and sealed by Him. In the name of Jesus, I bless you this morning and I glorify his holy name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I seal this word with the blood of the Lamb. I seal this channel with the blood of the Lamb. I seal every single one of them at the sound of my voice. And I seal every word that is going to come out of my lips, Lord. My lips are your mouthpiece, Lord. Do not allow me to speak, Father, but you speak through me. So you reach your children, you touch them with this word, Lord, and let them be doers of your word, Father. I seal every word that is coming out of my lips with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I seal this day. I seal your ears and your mind and your heart with the blood of Jesus and the full armor of God. And Zechariah 2.5, there is a wall of fire around you, protecting you, your family, your business, your, 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 your heart, your heart. Target your heart. Your heart have to be totally sealed in the blood of Jesus because the devil in this last time is targeting the heart to destroy people heart and to take them into hell so we had to cover our hearts we had to cover our mind we had to cover ourselves and we had to be very protected very protected the full armor of God the blood of Jesus Zachariah 2 5 and Psalm 91 upon every single one of you this day in the name of Jesus let's see what the word says the, the, the word that I have today is a word that it really touches me every time I read this word. It comes from the book of Matthew, and, and the book of Matthew is one of the books that, 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 that really is deep in my heart because it's, it's, it's just Jesus speaking. When we, when we go into that book, it, it really it touches me deeply. So I, we're going to come from the Matthew 10, verse 32 to uh, 39. Matthew 10, verse 32 to 39 it says, Therefore, whoever confess me before men, therefore, whoever confess me before men, who do we need to confess? Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter where you're standing, it doesn't matter where you are, even if you know you have people around you that don't like him, do not deny him in your life. Ever you deny him. It doesn't matter where you are. You need to keep him before you. And his name has to be constantly come out of your lips. Because we are his disciple. We are his children. We are his inheritance. And it says, Whoever confessed me before men, him I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. So when we place him first, guess what? He's going to place us right there before his father who is in heaven. And he says, but whoever denies me before men, him I will also deny before my father who is in heaven. This is a very profound word. And we are reaching times that many of us are being persecuted. And we need to stand tall for Jesus Christ. We need to stand in that rock and we cannot be moved. We cannot be shaken. We cannot be touched because we are with him and in him. Totally, totally, totally rooted in him in the name of Jesus. And he says, do not think that I come to bring peace on earth. So if we are in a church, and we are sitting down in a bench, warming up a bench. And you don't have any kind of discomfort. And you are very comfortable seated. And the word that they are coming out of the pastor's mouth are not bringing change and transformation into your life. You are in a dead place. And your bones are going to be dry. 
you are not being filled by the Spirit of God. So you will not be able to resist what is coming. And we are facing part of it, but this is just the beginning. And we need to be totally rooted in Him, in His Word, and we need to be in constant revelation of His Spirit and led by the Spirit of God. So be very careful. And He says, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. He came to bring what? He didn't come to bring peace. He came to bring a sword. What is the sword? Right here. His word. Why? Because this word comes to cut the bone and the spirit. This sword comes to change. This sword comes to transform. This sword comes to, to bring total, total, total the mind of Christ in our lives. There is no conformity. There is no relaxation. There is a transformation that takes place when we are in the Word of God. Why? Because the Word is the sword. The Word is the sword. So it comes to cut, to change, to transform, to mold us, to touch us, to heal us, to deliver us. And it says, For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. That means that we're going to have a, a ward inside a house? Many times, yes. Because if you are in Christ and your family is not in Christ, that is a ward. That is a spiritual word that you are facing. And many times we think it's mom, it's dad, it's this one, it's the other one. No, honey. It's the devil using them to get to you, to get to your heart, to get to your mind, to get to, to, to you, to destroy you, to put you down, to push you, to take you away from the way of the Lord. Why? Because you are going to make a revolution in your family. You're going to make a revolution in your house. You're going to be in transformation. And many times you've been chosen by God as the generation that is coming to break all curses and all hell in your family line. And you're coming against hell. And if that is your case, you need to say, I am not going back, devil. I am going to move forward and I'm going to bring my family into Christ. Because as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that is a promise and his promises are yes and amen. So if you are in that situation, keep on pushing forward and do not give up. Because in due time, he will bring your family and you may go through hell and hot waters. But Jesus is the way. Jesus is with you. He's faithful. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And that family is going to see a change, a transformation in your life. And that is going to touch their hearts. And they're going to come to Jesus Christ. Because when they see the peace of God upon your life. And that nothing will be moving you. They're going to say, I want that. Because I don't have it. I want what she has. I want what he has. So I encourage you to you to you today to keep on pushing forward and do not give up because your family's salvation depends on you. Your children's salvation depends on you. What you do, the changes that you have made in your life. How true are you? How committed are you for Jesus Christ? We are reaching times, times of repentance, times of forgiveness, times that we need to run to the cross and crucify our flesh. Our flesh cannot be up in that cross or running with fleshly desires. We cannot be playing church no more. We cannot have a leg here and a leg there in the world. We have to be totally committed, totally aligned to the word of God, to his kingdom, to his commandments. Be very careful because if you are gone, your family will be lost. He said, he who, come, he, who love fa the, he who loves father or mother more than me. Listen to this word. 
He who loves father and more, mother, more than me, is not worth it of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worth it of me. And he who loves, and he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worth it of me. So what is the Lord telling us? That he's first. He's first. He's first. And if you are married and you are a man, your wife is first. It's Jesus Christ and your wife who represents Christ in your life. The same for your husband. Who is first? Jesus Christ and your husband. Because he's the head of your house. Be very careful. Because we need to be in position. And we need to be in alignment to what his word this, this says. And many times we come from different places. And we put everybody first. And then Jesus. No. He's not your life savior. He's your priority. He's the core of your life. He's the center. He needs to be the root of everything that you do. Jesus is number one. And he says, He who find his life, he who find his life will lose it. And he who loses his life for my sake, and he who loses his life for my sake, will find it. He means when we give it all to him, all of it, not just a little piece. When we give the fullness of our heart, when we give him the fullness of our body, the fullness of our body, our mind, the fullness, the fullness, all of it, the first fruits, when we give it to him, it will be nothing that he will not do for us. He will do it all. My question to you today is, who is first in your life? Who is first in your life? Who do you spend more time with? What is coming out of your lips? What battle are you facing? You are fighting by yourself and trying to destroy that battle. It's only with him and through him that we are able to do what we need to do. And he's here telling you today, stop. Stop. Surrender. Surrender. Surrender all to me. Give me that heavy load that you carry. And I'm going to give you a light load. That is what I have. And your life is going to be changed and transformed. Keep on pushing forward. Even when you walk through the fire. When you walk through the hot waters. Keep on pushing forward. Because it's only through me and with me. That you will be able to fulfill your calling and your purpose. That your family will be able to be set free. That your husband will be able to be set free. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray them out fast for their life. Fast them out of every shame of hell in the name of Jesus. I bless you this morning. I glorify him for this word and him alone. I give him all the glory. I bless you. I bless you with heavenly blessings. And I ask the Holy Spirit that he brings such a conviction in your heart to follow Jesus all the days of your life and tell the devil, you're not touching me no more. You're not touching my family. You're not touching my marriage. You're not touching my life. You don't touch anything that has my name or belongs to me. Nothing. I'm ripping everything out, out of your hands. And I declare and I decree that my family, all my family will be safe and they will serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Because his word is yes and amen. And we need to abide in that word. Be rooted in that word. In the name of Jesus. I bless you this morning. And I glorify him and him alone. In the name of Jesus. And I seal this word 
in the blood of Jesus Christ. The perfect lamb that was sacrificed in that cross for you and I. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. God bless you.